Hey, this is Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor, and I've got mail. So this is like um, a weird spin on those unboxing videos because um, it's not like what normal things are. But this is something I've got in the mail, and I am so excited to open it up. It's from Centipede Press, which is like one of my favorite publishers. Okay, so they're not based in the Midwest, but they're doing a totally wonderful job of what they do. They um, publish significant editions of significant works. They do um, all those lovely little things you want in a book. They, uh, you know, they're hardbound. They are, you know, if the author's still alive, they're signed by the author, the designer, various, you know, the illustrator. Um, they've got like the, the ribbon, you know, bound into the to the binding, so you can keep uh, keep track of where you are. Uh, they're gorgeous books. They are they are so much fun to read, and I know some folks collect them like buy them and not read them, and I think that's insane, uh, because these are very readable volumes. They have ample margins, they're well typeset, uh, they're everything I love in a book. Um, anyways, so I have, this is the most recent box I just got. Um, just this week, I will um, brandish my carving knife as I try not to kill myself um, in opening it. Um, I had the opportunity to meet Jared Walters, the uh, the guy who runs this, at the um, the World Horror Convention in um, uh, Louisiana, in New Orleans, uh, a couple years ago. He's such a sweet guy. Um, he, uh, he and, and the reason why I'm doing an unboxing video is because he tends to add all sorts of weird stuff to the package, um, and um, and that's what, I love that too. Frankly, I'm a I'm an old school collector of weird, cool stuff. I have not damaged my body or removed any of my appendages in opening this box, which is a win. There is packaging material. There is more packaging material. There is some of this, oh my god, bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. Ah, well the cool, coolest thing that is not book related is, is this. It appears to be a collection of, oh wow, um, collectible cards. I got one of these in my last order. Um, I didn't open them because, well, because I'm like that. Um, and, but I'll open these for you, dear reader. I will open them to find out what they are. Uh, ruining, surely ruining any collectible value. I suspect that they are some supernatural disaster cards. Other times we've found um, other sorts of wonderful bits of things, like um, uh, there were, um, you, you know, the dust jackets to other editions um, in, in here. And, and they are lovely, lovely editions, so I am opening this up. And in here are one, two, three, four, five, six cards. I will show you what they are. They are... Bad seafood. They are ghost protocol. They are a body, catch a body. They are pounding fathers. <laughs> I think I saw that at a drive in. Um, they are, hey, I just met you. And they are head trip. It appears, and each of them has. Um, some narrative on the back. Um, th th these are uh, these are lovely. I don't know what they are. I wouldn't put it past Jared from having created these just for his own. I will look into this and uh, and either put them in the show notes or put them in, in a um, in an article on DailyNightmare.com. Um, but here is indeed the uh, uh, piece de resistance, the thing that I'm I was looking forward to. Um, ah. Oh 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 oh. Oh, no, no, no. So this is something else in addition to what I ordered. This is, um, this is Carnage. It is a, uh, uh, it's a zine. Oh, man. Carnage number two. This is published by Jared's kid. Um, but, oh, yeah. As, uh, as, as one would expect from any, anything coming from them. Oh, man, look at this. Man, my zines look nothing like this. There's a story, there's a review of, of one of those dreadful um, superhero movies. 
Ah, there's some fan art. Anyways, way cool, way cool. Like I said, great production values even on the zine. Oh man. Um, but this is what what we were looking for. Um, ah, this is um, uh, Dennis Etcherson's um, collection of, of, of short stories. I will pop this open too, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, So all of their editions have really nice wrap. I shouldn't say all of them. Many have um, have really nice uh, wraparound um, dust jackets with really cool art. Sometimes um, bizarrely surreal, uh, but usually fitting with the uh, the the feel of the book. Um, yes, it's um, illustrated by D David Ho, who does really really cool digital stuff. Uh, and S.T. Joshi does the introduction because he does the introduction to everything. He's one of those brainiac guys who um, sort of has made his career talking about weird horror um, from a very like like uh, intellectual um, perspective. Uh, so this is a really really cool collection of stories and background stuff of David, of Dennis Etcherson. Um and it wasn't really too expensive. I believe it was just fifty bucks, which is for a gorgeous book with. Um, and I know I'm totally superficial, but I love this edition. I love having a, um, um, a bound-in ribbon. So when I'm reading and fall asleep, I can find out where I am, open again. It's, it's one of those nice little things. This is a significant edition that will um, survive um, the cockroaches. When the cockroaches take over, this book will still be here. Um, anyway, so this was great. I wasn't overly waiting for this one, but this other book is totally something I was waiting for, which is Children of the Black Sabbath. This is totally creepy. Everything I've read about this book, um, I've never read the book, uh, but I've been totally waiting for it. It is um, uh, um, interesting dark fiction, let's just say, uh, satanic, let's because, you know, based on the... Um, uh, the uh, Black Sabbath um, in the title. I will open it up and try not to kill myself again. Although that would make really good television, wouldn't it? A little spewing of blood would make good television. Uh, Anne Hébert, um, I believe she was a Montreal-based uh, writer uh, early part of the 20th century. Um, just deliciously scary stuff is what I've been told. It, 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 they were referring to it as this is the best um, horror novel you've never read. Uh, looking forward to reading it entirely. Um, indeed, it is It is signed by Thomas Tessier, who, who wrote the introduction, um, and, the, and the illustrator, because, um, alas, the author is long dead. This is what showed up in the most recent collection of, of stuff I got from Centipede Press. Man, I, I've signed up for their um, their weekly mailing list. It's nearly weekly. Um, there's always information on on the cool new editions they're doing, and they are always doing cool new editions of things. They are, uh, like I said, doing significant volumes of, of, of work from the speculative fiction, mostly dark or horror um, market, which is great because other folks do the um, science fiction and fantasy stuff. Um, Centipede Press, uh, I think they're based in Colorado, um, so like I said, they, they, they have a weekly email, um, it's nice and chatty, sometimes he'll have, he'll wax eloquent about, like, you remember that, um, those, like, wacky packs from our childhood? He'll talk about that, and that's just really lovely, uh, really warm and endearing. Um, they've got a whole bunch of different projects in, in the works, and wow, if you're not familiar with their back catalog, um, you probably have missed out, because they only do, like, editions of, like, you know, 300 to 500, um, because honestly, probably there are just a few book snobs who would love this. You probably would too. Um, buy one, um, love it. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna do these weird little unboxing videos whenever I order something insane uh, off the online. Uh, anyways, so this once again, this is Dr. Leach, Leach Doctor from DailyNightmare.com. Check us out. We are your connection for Midwest snob horror. This is totally snob horror. Not technically Midwest. Um, Centipede Press, check them out.